afternoon. How are you? This is uh, Pastor Chris Thompson back with you again. Uh, today is a Friday, and I've decided to go ahead and answer another question. we got a couple quick updates before we get to the answers, though. For those of you who are following along, curious as to uh, what we're doing uh, for the church plant, things are going uh, fairly well uh, in terms of uh, financing, things like that. Uh, my wife has uh, received a great job with Korean Company, and it uh, looks like I'll be doing um, the same, receiving a job this next week. Uh, assuming all that stuff all pans together, then we'll be ready to open our church office in another week or two. So I'm getting very excited. Um, we're meeting with a few of our core people, and we'll be coming up with a name. Uh, I think I know where that's going, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, and so we'll get you in on all that fun stuff, and uh, maybe even next week. We can have some uh, photos of the new church office and uh, starting on our LLC to get things launched that way. Um, so continue to pray for us. Uh, I'm becoming uh, very excited about it, frankly. Well, anyway, right into what you guys tune in for, and that is to have your question answered. Um, today's question comes uh, to us from Brother Tom Ruth, one of my favorite people in the whole world. And his question, by the way, he prefaces it with uh, you asked for it and so if this bores anyone you can blame Tom Ruth I'll put his uh, information right here so you can ask him more questions and pester him as to why he's boring you actually I don't find it boring uh, I do find it uh, difficult though and which makes it fun uh, the question is very simple it says I have a question I need documentation on uh, to give somebody else where in the Bible does it say that Satan and a third of the angels were cast out with him well Tom, unfortunately, uh, the Bible uh, doesn't use terms quite as clear as I think you're looking for. Um, it is a construct, like uh, like most things in Revelation and prophecy. Uh, you're obviously tying multiple pieces of Scripture and understanding together uh, to get the pictures that we have, and we try to make it as simple to understand as possible. Uh, but the passage you're looking for is Revelation chapter 12. Uh, you're going to find it in the first four verses. I'll read those for you. It says, uh, as, a great crowd, as a great and wondrous sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of twelve stars on her head. She was pregnant, and she cried out in pain as she was about to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the heaven, an enormous red dragon, with seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. His tail swept away a third of the stars out of the sky, and flung them to the earth. The dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth uh, so that he uh, might devour her child at the moment it was born. She gave birth to a male child who was to rule all the nations. Well, um, as you can see, it doesn't say it quite as clearly as that, but that's where that number comes from. I've had this question, gosh, probably four or five times since I got into the ministry, and everyone wants to know, hey, every book I read says a third of the angels, a third of the angels, a third of the angels. Where does that number come from? That number comes out of Revelation chapter 12. Um, and most people tie that over to Ezekiel chapter 28, verses 13 through 17, uh, where they talk about, um, excuse me, how they talk about the garden of God and uh, how at the very beginning um, Satan was there. And they kind of tie those two passages together to come up with this idea uh, that Satan was desiring um, because of his own pride to take over and become God in his steed and uh, this is the explanation that we're given uh, like most things Tom I apologize when it comes to Revelation that it is not crystal clear it's not a movie um, perhaps Scorsese would do a better job however this is what we're given this uh, beautiful imagery uh, it does shock me though it does shock me um, that a created being uh, like Lucifer himself, uh, would feel the power and the strength. It would feel the pride in himself, so much so that he felt um, that he could not only, uh, I don't know, live his own life and do what he wanted outside of God's will, but become God himself, take over. And a third of the angels go with him. Uh, and most people believe that this leads to uh, the biblical description of uh, demons uh, later on after the fall, obviously, when you talk about Christ casting the demons and the pigs and all those things, uh, for the most part, uh, most theologians point right back to this and say that this is part of that third that fell with him uh, becoming uh, Satan's minions. So I pray this helps 
you and your friend on your quest to uh, understand this more completely. Um, God bless you uh, from the great state of Ohio, and I'll talk to you again next week.